morning. It's uh, Sunday, October 15th here in Colorado. We had our first snow already, so the tops of my potatoes are killed. I can see one potato right here, so I know I have at least one. And uh, I'm getting ready to dump this out and go through it and see how many potatoes we have. This is uh, my favorite part right here because all I used, all I invested in this was a old tub that we had laying around, some dirt, and uh, some potatoes that were getting ready to go bad. So let's go ahead and dump this thing out and see what we have. Just dump it here in the garden so that I don't have to worry. There's the one that was closest to the top already. I see another one. I planted these red potatoes. I believe they were organic. Yep. So they were probably sprayed with the seed inhibitor. There is a couple more that are started. But there's just a few. So far, here's another one. So, oh. I should have, I could have maybe waited, but it's starting to freeze every night here. And I don't know if that's going to be bad with the potatoes being in a bucket to let them freeze over. So I figured I better get them out of here before they freeze and thaw, freeze and thaw. There's some little baby ones. That one still has a little stem attached. Um, and by dumping them here in the garden, I'm just going to recycle the dirt back into the garden. It'll make, there's some more. Ah, I think those are white potatoes. I actually don't know that I had all the same type of potato in here. Yeah, that's a golden potato. So, oops, I just scratched one. That's probably gonna have to be used quick. But we definitely have some potatoes. So, um, I do wish I could have waited till the stalks died all the way back and left the potatoes. I'm not sure if that's a potato or not. Here, look at that one, Bailey, up close. I think that's an acorn. I think a squirrel. That's an acorn. <laughs> squirrel buried an acorn in my potatoes. Once the shot. acorn, take the acorn. <laughs> so, so far there's a few. Now, like I said, I have very little invested in these. I didn't actually even water them. They were sitting in a spot that sort of gets hit by the sprinkler system, but not, not really even. I did a couple days when it was really dry. I did take water from the rain barrel and water them a little. They're not huge potatoes, but uh, let's go ahead and dump this thing over. <laughs> There's some at the bottom. Wow, there's a half gold, half red. That's pretty. There's some over there too. I see them. So the dirt that I originally started with was a little heavy and I put sand in it. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of potatoes in that first layer of dirt. The next batches were home mixed Dad, potting you soil. You just buried it one. I did? Yeah, oh, right. Hold on, right? They're everywhere. In here. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Got a nice pile of potatoes here. A little bit. I don't think there was... I don't think there was that much that had gone bad that I planted. So I think we're ahead of the game here. I do know that we gotta let them heal over any spots that are... where I'm pulling the, the root off. I know they need to dry out a little and heal over, which I'll probably put them in the garage or in the basement to do that. Oh, that's a bottle top. That wasn't. How did a bottle cap get in there? Let's see here. I know there's more over here because I can see them. There's a the, bunch more over there. The little tiny gold ones are pretty cute. <laughs> I love how you call them cute. I mean, look at them. They're small. You see. There's small like little gold potatoes. Here's another size of a quarter, maybe. Gold one attached to a red. 
These were just potatoes that were in our pantry that started growing eyes. So I stuck them in dirt, cut them in half, stuck them in dirt. And uh, so like I said, I have very little invested in this. So if it didn't work, I wasn't gonna be overly disappointed. I didn't know how well they grow. It was more of an experiment. There's some little, little ones. But uh, yeah, these little baby potatoes would be great for a uh, roast. They're all through here. Well, it's not 10 pounds of potatoes or anything, but oh wow, look at that one. But they are potatoes. So I guess to sum up, if you have a bag of potatoes, and they're starting to get eyes. You think about throwing them out. You can have a bunch of potatoes. And if you're like us ladybug. and you have plenty of dirt laying around from potting projects and stuff like that, or a garden that you can take some of your dirt from, a couple of extra bins that are old laying around, just drill some holes in the bottom of it, plant you some potatoes. best were at the top, the biggest ones at least were at the top. And I'll just till this garden soil back into my garden and uh, next year I'll probably use a little bit more of a softer compost mix to, uh, here's a seed cap to marigolds, so they're covering them up, I'll save them, here you go. Hold on. Well, that looks like about it, so thanks for watching. Um, as you can see, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break the bank with potatoes, but I have fresh potatoes from old rotten potatoes. So I've converted a loss into a gain, and uh, you know, regardless of how you think about it, that's a that's a positive. So. You know, I encourage anybody who can to plant a backyard garden if all you have is a patio. Um, containers work just fine. Things like tomatoes, potatoes. I got some chives over there in a, in a uh, bucket that I plan on just trying to keep them spreading throughout the yard because they grow wild. But uh, yeah, so there's my potatoes. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.